I sound like shit, but I'll try to cover this. This is an AWM accessory belt tensioner. And those who have not seen it up close is, is what it looks like. Notice this is wider, bigger, but this lines up with this. That's all that's gonna matter. The important thing is, is how do you lock it in? See this hole? 17 inch. I'm using 18. We're gonna be doing something like, okay. We're gonna be doing something like this. See? And we're gonna lock it in. Why am I doing this? Well, <clears throat> it's winter. And there's always something happens in the winter, right? Um, so in the mornings, my serpentine belt tensioner has been squealing like a pig. Now, somebody said you could replace the bearings on these. I don't know about you, but I sure as hell don't know how to replace that bearing. So, AWM belt tensioner is going on AB motor as you can see here's my space not much right pain in the ass an understatement nonetheless as I was rotating using the wrench, I noticed that, see how it's falling apart over there? The angle from the cap tells me it's a bad thing. Second, the imprinting on the belt also tells me something is bad about that pulley. And the shiny things on that thing, especially on the outside, an outside edge of that pulley also tells me something's not good about that pulley. Um, so, I will be attempting to replace the belt tensioner without removing anything. On the day of Christmas, by the way. Well, continue. So, I think that's a 13 mil right there. Because Audi never makes it with even numbers. You see, we're just, we're just pricks like that. We just always the odd ones. In the winter, everybody's going slow. We're the ones shitstorming. And so it comes down to our bolts. We're never normal standard. It's always like an 11 mil, 13 mil. But it's never 14, it's never 10. No, no. Not on Audis. So yeah, this is going to be like a 13, there's going to be three of them. I'm going to try to take those off. And then, I should be able to slide the thing in there. Now, these wiring is really not helping me, but I'm too lazy. I don't want to take this off. I'm going to see if I can slide it in without it. Notice what I did with that bolt. That's a, a typical Audi bolt. If you got spare things laying around. It's a, it's a very fine size, so you have to pick it because if it's not, um, if it's not too, if it's too big, it won't go into the other hole. If it's too small, it'll angle on you. So, um, find something that fits, take your time. It's doable if you're rushing. In this kind of space, you will screw up. You will break something, so don't rush. It's going to be a slow, tedious process. But it's doable. Um, I was using pliers like this to uh, fit that in there. Hey, 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 what the fuck? Anyways. Uh, but yeah, um, that bolt is pretty much the trick. And uh, see, loose. 
So I'm going to try to salvage this issue um, before it gets really cold. So, 13, Harbor Freight, Ratchety Ratch. Let's see if I can use two hands. Damn, check out the torque spec on that. Amazing torque spec. Lovely. The Russian must have did it. I always over tighten shit. Okay, I shouldn't be cussing on Christmas. Well, anyways, you got the idea. I ain't gonna be spending time recording freaking wenching and stuff, am I? You guys wanna see the sound of that? No, I didn't think so. Hey. Hey. Don't be ignoring my. <clears throat> so, if you unscrew one bolt, you won't take it out. You will have interference. You have to unscrew all of them and it gets loose and it changes the angle and you will be able to slide a bolt right through. That is, uh, that is the fact if you have an electrical fan conversion instead of a plastic fan. You'll have a different scenario. Uh, <clears throat> but the idea is still the same. Uh, if you try to take one bolt at a time you won't make it because this is the actual this. And um, but once you loosen all of them, this one came out. See how long it is. So um, just um, be patient and slowly take them all out. And nothing is impossible. So with enough. Pa so. Listen to the sound. I don't know about you, that's loud. Also, look how well it's made. This one is much better sealed and better um, uh, designed than uh, this one. It just looks more flimsy. And um, if you look closely to the crack right here, um, right here it's um, it's also got an angle going on so it's weak over here too so basically I got an old piece of crap and if you look closely to the edge of this if you look closer to the edge of this you know it's got something going on wearing out yeah, this doesn't look good. So, <clears throat> put aside. This is how they look like. Yep. This is what's going to happen is that AWM and AB and um, and this one is more flush here's more flush see that so it's more more even than here there's a step right here so obviously I'm a slight OCD obsessive compulsive uh, OCC, Obsessive Compulsive Cleaning Disorder, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, shaved off a couple of ounces of aluminum dust. <clears throat> you know, weight reduction. It's very important. Uh, so, all my bolts are plugged in. Dromel brush is in place. It's uh, hella custom, you know. Once I set things in, um, I will be on the way. So, um, yeah, this one's much super quiet. You know, no noise whatsoever coming off of this. Okay, so far so good. So, 
didn't have to do anything just slowly got it out and now I'm gonna slowly put this one back in belt is still in place I'll double check as I go in and uh, that's it you know you're gonna have to be very creative um, once I got once I got this bolt in right here the whole thing is still wobbling so I mean I went like this and you're gonna press the belt in so it'll hop into place on the pulley end over there so it sits tight if you can see well you probably don't see it nonetheless it's 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 done with patience so I got the belt aligned and now I'm going to uh, tighten everything, I mean, hand tight everything first and uh, make sure everything works. So, um, got the bolts tightened up, hand tight, I'm um, going to go and check with the flashlight to see if everything lining up. Uh, right there. I'm going to shine that light. See if I can zoom in on that. Actually, I'm going to zoom in right there. And see if you can get the light going. Basically, you got the idea. As I'm following the belt. And uh, right there. And come around. That right there is important right there. See if I can... That right there. As it's shining over there, that's all matters. Belt is lined up, teeth are lined up. That's all matters. Now my February and March is going to be super quiet in the morning. Not to mention a future potential hazard. Yeah, anyways, so... Oh yeah, by the way, in case you're looking for that bolt that you can put in instead of my Dremel little thing, look at this. You see this? You can always unscrew it and put it back in, but that's a long enough bolt with a diameter that you can, you know, fit it in there. Be creative about it. Make it happen.